David, AutoCAD 2008 was really about annotation, and tables yes. were a big part of that. And, and tables, uh, that's for me, is huge because I'm always creating tables, door schedules, window schedules, room finish schedules, they're all tables. So one of the first things that happened with tables is being able to extract data directly to a table. And that's been around for a while. But sometimes we want to link tables. We want to, we want to add more information to a table, modify the table. And so one of the big problems before was that if you made modifications to the table and then extracted that data back out again, all the changes you made disappeared. So in 2008, we finally got the capability to make modifications to a table and not lose those changes when we updated the data inside that table. And by modifications, you mean the format? Well, if I know, if I've got a, uh, I, I know the I know how many doors I've got in the project, and I know the cost of the doors. Wouldn't it be nice to have a column in my table that t shows me the co total cost of the doors? Well, I could add that in before, but then if I added another door to the project. AutoCAD's going to tell me, hey, your attribute data has changed. Do you want to update the table? And as soon as you said yes, all the changes you made to add that additional column and add the math to do those calculations would go away. So that no longer happens. So that's a biggie. Great. The other thing is, if again, from my perspective, I'm creating these long lists of door, door schedules or room schedules. It's not going to fit in one column. I'm going to need to break that table. Well, the same change that got made to AutoCAD 2008 to be able to break multiple columns of text is applied to tables now as well. So I can take a table and go, okay, the table flows down to a certain point on the page, and now I need to break it and start another column of tables. Now I can break the, the table and have it flow into multiple columns as well. I think that's one of my favorite features right. with tables. And then the last one is the ability to link the table data to an Excel spreadsheet. So for example, AutoCAD's gonna tell me how much of something I've got. Let's say I'm doing a, p a piping layout on a site plan. So I know from the AutoCAD drawing, if my pipes are all drawn on a certain layer, all of the lines that are drawn on that layer, the total length of those lines represents the total length of pipes. Okay, but m the cost of pipes is over in an Excel spreadsheet. So now I can link the Excel spreadsheet into the AutoCAD drawing, and if I change the length of pipe in the AutoCAD drawing, of course AutoCAD's gonna know that the length has changed, but if I change the cost of the pipes over in the Excel spreadsheet, AutoCAD is also going to know that the cost has changed because I'm linking the data from outside of AutoCAD into the AutoCAD drawing and create one table that incorporates both pieces of data. So combining object data, Excel data, and um, formulas. Right, because tables are no longer just about extracting attributes. It's really now any data associated with any object inside of AutoCAD can be extracted out and become part of that table. That's a good point. Yeah. Just like you said, the, the length of a line. Right, or, it, it, it's yeah. the same thing we were talking about, the area of an object. I mean, any data associated with any object in AutoCAD can now be extracted out and manipulated. There's no reason not to use data extraction. No, data extraction, and again, it's easy to use now because it's a the same interface inside of AutoCAD that we use for everything else. So you don't have to learn a new tool, it's the same tool we've always used. Great, yeah, something we should yeah. all take advantage of. It's yep. right there, use it, right? Yep. All right, thanks. Well, you're welcome.